Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 8th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. And we always start out looking at our star for the past 48 hours as it's still belting out M-class solar flares. Active sunspot regions turning in. And as well, another fast-growing sunspot we're going to be keeping an eye on. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Active sunspot regions turning into view. Looking at outgoing, this is where we've seen multiple M-class solar flares, big sunspot grouping left-hand side, and as well plasma filaments on the right-hand side, which again, we're going to be keeping an eye on those as well, but as we've seen multiple take off from the sun recently, and you can see one ramping up right in the last few images. Looking at multi-spectrum, we do have big coronal hole visible there, and we are expecting an intense coronal hole wind stream. Looking at 171 angstroms here, just amazing images of our sun. Amazing loops of plasma. Looking at the interacting magnetic fields of sunspot regions. Thank you all for watching and pressing play tonight. Hope you enjoy all this information shared. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thumbs up for our very active sun during solar cycle 25, which will last 11 years. And then back to a minimum for 11 years. Full cycle lasting 22 years. And this is the 25th cycle. Having a look at our sunspot regions in motion, outgoing was very active and still is. Watching for some backside activity over the next week from that. And there are the equatorial incoming sunspots and growing earth facing. 3983 is the one that I was talking about quickly forming. 3986 looks primed though as well. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Current space weather conditions. Level 1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. Minor weak degradation of high frequency radios. Solar winds are coming in at 349 kilometers per second, which is slightly above average, normally around 300. Solar X-ray flux. Moderate M-class solar flare after heightened solar activity yesterday and the night prior. Solar proton flux is still a little bit static and rising. Geomagnetic activity up to a KP3 today. And watch for that to rise. Coming up tonight and into tomorrow, coronal hole wind stream is abound and inbound. Invisible here on the Space Weather Prediction Center as they have finally updated their spiral. There is a look at our incoming coronal hole wind stream. which most likely we will see a KP of six, maybe seven, tonight and into tomorrow. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, outgoing CME detected. That is the most recent. That's taking off towards the what, Europa Clipper satellite. Lots of satellites up there, folks. Little, circ uh, little circles are our planets, and of course the yellow one was Earth. Having a look at Alaska 3, wide spectrum, we've got Mercury. Looks like it's coming underneath the sun, but it's going in behind. This is showing the last two days. Plasma shots going from the north and the south. Looking at tonight's aurora forecast versus tomorrow's. Expected KP index of 5, quite possibly even 6. Roar view line for tomorrow night. As far down as South Dakota, quite possibly parts of northern Ontario. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours as we're up and over 200, sitting at about 230, according to USGS. Quiet through South America, only reporting a couple earthquakes there through Chile. 
Notable earthquake here, 4.3, Georgetown, Cayman Islands, towards Jamaica. Vulcan, heads up, stay safe. 3.9 there, Dominican Republic. United States, cross the soil. Largest being a 3.5 in Yarrington, Nevada. As well a 3.3, and notable there, towards San Fran. Alaska seeing activity all through the Aleutian Islands, as well Eastern Russia, 5.1. But it's interesting, all of the most recent activity has been across the Northern Hemisphere, above the Northern parallels of the equator. Notable, 5.1, Melfa, Italy, 66 kilometer depth. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that could be affected by a catastrophic earthquake or volcanic event through the Mediterranean. Notable earthquakes today through the Somali plate and into the Indian plate. 5.1s. Still deep activity. Banda Sea and deep activity here in Fiji today. 4.4, 4, 526 kilometer depth. So yet another deep earthquake. This is now three days straight. And our largest being a 6.0, which was reported yesterday in Fiji. So expecting something larger and shallower, like extremely larger. So please, heads up, you live in an earthquake prone zone. Stay aware and prepared and much love all around. This is looking at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the planet. Notable activity up the Atlantic plate and as well, all of the most recent uprisings in Greece. When I zoom into regions, those are the regions that I do believe we're in for a large earthquake. North American plate's a hot spot right now. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes. And we have a record amount, 76 active and erupting. What we're looking here, just wondering what's brewing or spewing through Alaska. As most of these are Hawaii, Mexico, and as well, Bonin Islands region, Nishinashima. Overlooking Australia, South Africa. Sulfur dioxide emissions have been diminishing across the African continent. Big, strong, low pressure system over La Palma. In the North Atlantic right now, got to really wonder what's erupting over there. Those were pretty intense SO2 emissions coming from those regions. Now let's have a look at world weather overlooking North America. Mixed bag of precipitation eventually will scoot out to the Atlantic before the next system comes in on the 11th, smashing into a Canadian high-pressure ridge, which will be cold. So extreme weather and mixed precipitation in the south. And then everything's going to change here with these multiple lows in the long-range forecast. Watch for mixed precipitation yet again with that low-pressure system that scoots up the east coast. Atlantic provinces will be seeing blizzard-like conditions. Southern Hemisphere, notable, strong, almost hurricane-like low-pressure system coming off of South America. Watch for extreme weather through Argentina and northward to Bolivia. Long-range forecast, lots of moisture for South Africa as well. Possible cyclone penetrating the Madagascan coastline, eastern Madagascar. And then we've got Australia and the Southern Hemisphere, which is really ramping up right now with the height of summer. Multiple cyclones. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tropical systems all spinning around the Australian continent right now. And that is unprecedented. I have not reported seven tropical systems like that in the Southern Hemisphere. I've seen it happen in the Northern Hemisphere during our summer season, but not in the South. Some pretty intense systems roaring around the Southern Hemisphere right now. Much love, everybody. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel and watching, subscribing, 
And as well, thanks for all of the love and support to the channel, including memberships, super chats, and all of you moderators in chat. Much love and thank you. Still a very big system brewing in the North Pacific, smashing into some pretty cold air that is still funneling around. You saw the polar vortex the other night. Stay tuned. We'll have a look at it again tomorrow. Let's have a look at the extreme temperatures. Those deep purples are minus 25, minus 30 degrees Celsius. Extreme cold temperatures all across the Canadian prairies. And notable higher elevations, lower latitude through parts of China and as well the United States. Much love. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due.